talk about holidays. Christmas. Dialogue one. It's a few days till Christmas. Jenny and Linda are talking about shopping for Christmas presents. Hey, Linda, how are you feeling? The best I can be, assuming you're at your best too. Christmas is around the corner. You've got any plans yet? Nah, not yet. What about your Christmas shopping? Um, I went shopping last week, but I forgot to buy the gifts for my family. I was thinking about hanging out at the mall this weekend. Would you like to come? I could not agree with you more, my friend. I also want to buy a Christmas gift for my sister. Yeah, that's great. What are you thinking of? I'm not sure. My top choice is a handbag. That sounds interesting, but. A designer bag? No, I can't afford a designer bag. Just a branded bag. Marks and Supers is having a sale off. What do you think about coming there? Sounds like a good idea. How do you know that? I went there last week. I bought a beautiful bag for my niece as her birthday present. Did you get a discount? Of course, thirty percent off. Ah! <gasps> wow, sounds nice. Can't wait to go there. What gift are you going to choose for your family? Well, I plan to buy my father a wine bottle cover with Christmas motifs. <laughs> The fabric is decorated and printed with colorful Christmas-themed pictures. That would be a great gift. This small but powerful gift will make the wine bottles lovely, matching the decorations on Christmas Eve. Yeah, for my mother, I would like to buy a neck scarf with lovely and funny reindeer motifs and four vintage colors. Super duper! I bet your mom will love it. Dialogue two: Lucas, Jennifer, and Peter ask each other about their Christmas plans. Merry Christmas, Jennifer. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too! Sending you the best wishes for happiness in this season. Thanks, Jennifer. You too. How was your Christmas? Did you exchange presents with your friends at school? Oh yes, of course. We have chosen beautiful gifts for each other. Ah! <gasps> wow, that's great. Do you go to church on Christmas Day, or do something like that? I'm going to attend a candlelight service at the local church. Would you like to go out with me? Who else is going? Just Lucy, Andrew, and me. What about Jane? She won't be there, will she? Jane and a couple of her friends are responsible for holding the service. She is already at the church preparing for everything. I see. Is she going to sing too? Yeah, I heard that she'll give a solo performance. That's great. I like her voice. She's really talented. What about the carols? What songs will they sing? I don't know. Maybe all I want for Christmas is you, or Holly Jolly Christmas. That would be interesting. Do you enjoy singing Christmas songs? No, I like listening to Christmas songs, but not singing though. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yeah, right. Me too. Oh, Lucas! Look, is it Peter? Yeah, you are right. It's him. Hi, Peter. Oh, hi, guys. Merry Christmas. Hey, Peter. What are your plans for the winter break? My brother and I were invited to Alan's house. You are going to have a Christmas party, right? Yes, we will have a small party with my family and my cousins. How about you? We will attend a candlelight service at the local church together. That sounds interesting. <gasps> really? In England, children often write letters to Santa Claus and throw them into the fireplace. Throw them into the fireplace? Why do they do that? Because they believed that these letters would fly through the chimney and reach the North Pole where Santa's abode. For the sake! That's amazing! How about in your country, Lucas? According to traditional Italian custom, it's not an old man, but an old woman named Strega Bufana who will visit the children. Wow! That's so unique and special. Yeah, but sorry, guys. Last night, I made my brother a promise to go skating this afternoon. So I'm afraid I have to go now. That's fine. Catch you later. Bye. See you soon. <laughs>